<laughs> We're gonna walk and talk okay. the interview. They fit me right. in, that I'm is how much that. I love you. <laughs> You're filming it too, it's my assistant right. Elizabeth. Hello, okay, hello, hello. can you tell me what you just said five minutes I ago? I love that dress, isn't it beautiful? It really looks good, it's Oscar. It is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, can, can I get another better compliment my entire life? What, from me, you mean? Yes! Oh, no, no, no. It's a great dress. I really like it. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. No, no, no. That is. Congr <laughs> you should congratulate me on your compliment. Okay. No, no, no. I like so, the dress, but... So. I told friends that I was going to interview you. Right. Elizabeth, why don't you... Well, I can't look back. She knows okay. that I can't talk about blah, blah, blah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. So, yes, yes, yes. I know what you can't talk about, and I, won't, I would never do that because I appreciate the opportunity. Um, whenever I told anybody I was going to be interviewing you, yeah. everybody had the same reaction, and what? that was, Oh, my God, I want to be his friend! You're kidding. I'm so happy about that. I hear that a lot, which is funny. And um, I don't know why. What do you think that's about? I don't know why people want to be your friend. I think they feel like they really know you. Oh. And that you'd always <laughs> tell the truth. That's that the true? truth. I think maybe yeah. that's part of it. Yeah, the truth part is a really good thing. Actually, speaking of the truth, my mother once said this thing. We were walking down the street in the village where I live. And um, someone came up to us and she said, Oh, Isaac Mizrahi, oh my God, I just you know, love you. And, da, da, da. and it was a long time, it was like 10 years ago. And I said, Oh my God, Mrs. Mizrahi, I just saw it unzipped. I feel like I know you. And she said, Well, you don't, like that. And it was kind of a wonderful, <laughs> it was a wonderful line. <laughs> but that is the best when people do feel like they know you because you have that comfort level with yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then, I think it's because I don't lie. I think it's because I cannot tell a lie. You know? Because if I look bad, then you would have told me. That's right. That's totally. right. That's right. Yes. Now yes, your yes, website. Yes. Or I wouldn't have said anything. I just happened you would, to see you, you, you across just, the room and said, that's a pretty dress. Exactly. Yeah. Your website it's phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you, thank love you. Love the webisodes. Thank you, thank love you. I love it. Tables. It's one of my favorite things to do. I mean, I love doing it all, but I love that especially. Me Meanwhile, are we like Spinal Tap right now? <laughs> we're getting exactly the where we are. Where's the fashion Plus, show? We go in and out of where's like, the fashion show? We go in and out of like different air conditioning zones. Like yes. it's freezing, and then it's like really hot, and then it's whatever. This is so glamorous right now. It is. It's okay, true. so the website's great. Thank um, you. And you were making some comments about Michelle Obama's mm -hmm. look. What was I saying? Well, how you would like to, you know, yeah. snazz her up a little bit. I think she knows what she's doing. I gotta tell you, it's just me. But what do you mean? What should I do? What would Michelle Obama? Would you design a dress for her? How does that work? Sure, sure, sure. I would. Yes. Do you call her up and be like, "Hey, mm -hmm. it's I Isaac." I think you know. I think that like. I think that the Obama administration has a really distinct idea about how things are going to run. And when they decide, they will let us know. Do you know okay. what I mean? It's like, I think when they decide what the policy is about what she's supposed to wear, they will let us know. Like, I think she probably has to buy clothes. I don't think she can, like, sort of take clothes or have special things made or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Right. And I would really love that if that were the case. Because that makes it really nice for me. <gasps> wouldn't that be fun for you? Wouldn't that be fun? Yes, what about Cindy so McCain? Fun. What about Cindy McCain? She would you like to make a dress woman? for her? I would like to make a dress for her, yes. Okay, well I'm, now I'm a non-partisan dressmaker. We'll let the record show that you will do that. <laughs> That's so right. uh, tell us about your connection to Jeffrey. Oh, this way. Well, Jeffrey's just a darling, funny, smart guy who has some incredible stores and really great taste. He has great taste. And he s did he say, Isaac, I'm so glad you're coming. <laughs> yes, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> he did. And what do you love about Atlanta? I love about Atlanta that it's kind of like um, for this like as like as a southern city as a southern city it's like sort of a uh, uh, like it, it has like all the good things about the south and all the good things about cities Do you know what I mean it's really hard to find a southern city do you know mm -hmm. for me Atlanta is one of them because I know you don't like to leave New York I don't I don't like to leave like 12th Street yeah you, well you go to Bridgehampton yeah exactly I don't like to leave my dogs yes and I love the photos of your food on the website oh you're kidding wait till you see wait a minute I have to show you a real you have a photo photos of your food I, that's all I do you're so into that but that, is so that fun that. for you to do the blogging? Yeah, it's really fun. I love it. I don't know. I just love it. It's like a form of communication. Have so. you found that since you started blogging about you or your friends that maybe your friend didn't know you wrote about them and then someone <laughs> told them about that and it made them upset? No, I'm very, very hyper, hyper sensitive about that because I don't like when people, you know, so I always check. Like I ran into this friend of mine. I took her picture the other day, this dancer, and I said, would you mind if I use it on my blog? And she said, no. Okay. So I always check. Always, okay. always, always. Because, yeah, you're, you're just so open about everything. Okay. 
So we're getting some pictures of Isaac Mizrahi's cooking. It's oh, first Dean. your dog. Oh, that's Arnold's dog. And look at this cake. Uh, wait, is that your refrigerator? Yeah, that's pictures my refrigerator. Pictures of Isaac's refrigerator. But look at this cake. Wait, there's a cake. Did you it's make a, that? Yeah, I How did. How many layers? Four. Four layer cake. Four Isaac layer Mizrahi. lemon lemon filled cake. Isn't that beautiful? It that is thing? the most it's gorgeous beautiful. cake. Ever. It doesn't I mean, hurt when it's on a little sort of John Darian kind of basic. That's so this? classic. Okay. I mean, how often do you see that? Now that. So beautiful. So delicious. That is a beautiful cake, and this you know, is. people really should eat cake. A, yes, I agree. You have a you have a preview of my next blog. Okay. Cake. Of what? And also, we had a. We had, a, we had a moment in the airport where I was having pretzels. But I feel like, you know what? I have to do something. Because the thing is, it's like, no, no, no. We have to say that, like, the thing about it is, like, you get to an airport lounge and you eat pretzels. Why? You can abstain from pretzels every other time in your life. But somehow in an airport, chips? you're just like, I know. Chips? This is what I'm saying. It's like, I don't know why, but you allow yourself we'll to eat the shit. And there's your next blog That's posting. what I'm saying. Yeah. We'll That's why I feel we have to do it on the way back. Because right I didn't think I finally yeah. captured... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. yes How many yes, facelifts exactly, do you exactly. think you'll see here tonight? <gasps> I don't know. I hope not many. <laughs> I hope not many. I want to see an hors d'oeuvre, actually. Okay, Isaac's going to get an hors d'oeuvre. Okay. We're going to get a picture, and we'll wrap it up, because I can tell he's being very gracious to me. He'll never get out of that. Um, so you're... I'm his partner. Your your partners. So is it? So, what's it like being Isaac Mizrahi's partner? It's really fun. It is. Yes. So he's he's never like, bitch, you get to work. Or, never, okay. Never. Okay. Never. <laughs> like I am with my assistant. Yeah, no, no, no. It's never like that. Ready? I love your partner, by the way. Can I just take a quick picture? Sure. Quick. Listen, I'm getting the whole thing. Like, we we just want to take a quick picture because you're you've been so great. I went in there and I'm like, look, I'm a size 12 or 14. It's hard for me to find a fabulous dress. Mm -hmm. And he went and he ordered this for me. You're kidding. So he went in there and wow. and he'll be here tonight. You've met him before, I'm sure. Okay. He made me feel like you're, it was like my dream I come love true. Him. All right. And so he I looked at my body and said, I had the dress for you. And, and he that got the belt. Great. He picked yeah. the dress. I mean, you know, so there you go. All right. <laughs> He's like, that's a great story. We're, you're like, that's a great story. Where are the hors d'oeuvres? Isaac, it was great to meet you. We love you. See ya. And that is how it went with Isaac Mizrahi.